what will happen is when when it's time to release the guy, they won't notify ICE. They'll just let him go because they're like, we're not going to we're not a, we're a sanctuary city. We don't want to deal with this. We're not going to help you guys. So they won't hold the body. And then the guy will get released. And that's how you end up with a lot of these problems. So and I, I mean, hell, it's it's gotten so bad. I'll never forget this vividly. We had a arrest warrant for a guy in Austin, Texas. This is uh, maybe 10 years ago. And uh, it was for human smuggling, which is a felony. 8 U.S.C. 1324. Anybody can look it up. Um, it's a federal felony, but it's under the INA. So we get a arrest warrant for this guy, want to go pick him up because he was a coordinator moving illegal aliens into the United States through Laredo, Texas into Austin, which was one of the- He was like a hubs. drug dealer of people. Exactly, okay. exactly. Which illegal aliens, which I can explain this too, all illegal aliens that come into the United States are typically utilizing some type of human smuggling organization to get in. It's a very refined process uh, because the cartels run it and there needs to be money made, but that's a whole other example. But the point is, is that- this guy, we had an arrest warrant for him. Federal arrest warrant. We tell Austin PD, hey, we want some marked units. We're going to go out and get this guy. This is the address. They didn't want to come out. And, and we're like, why not? This is a federal warrant. Uh, no, nah, like, it's immigration. I don't know. It's like, no, dude. Yeah, it's an immigration violation, but it's a felony. Like, this is an arrest, a federal arrest warrant. Yeah, no, we're going we're gonna to stand down on this. And this happens mm-hmm. all over the place in, um, in the United States. And this is a big reason why... Um, Immigration Customs Enforcement, because there was two different agencies. There was Immigration Customs Enforcement, Office of Investigations, that's where the special agents were, and then Enforcement Removal Operations. H- ICE, Office of Investigations, changed their name to Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, to not have the immigration in their name so that people don't think that's all they do, because they also have Customs Authority, too, et cetera. So they had to rebrand because it was so difficult to get state and locals on board with conducting some of these operations. Interesting. That's so how that, bad it is. So that is going to be a hindrance to him. It's very bad. Anytime you see one of these illegal aliens getting out of a local jail, mm-hmm. um, nine out of ten times, a detainer wasn't honored that was placed by ICE. There was there was one story, I think it was in Ohio, that the federal government brought in illegal immigrants and said, hey, can you hold these these guys for us real quick just for overnight because we need somewhere for them to stay? Mm-hmm. And the local sheriffs, they were like, yeah, for sure, bring them in. And then the feds ran off. Oh, yeah. And then, like bad. the next day, the sheriff woke up and they're like, what? what do we do? Like, we got all these illegal... And they were like, let them go. So they just let them go into these small towns. Yeah. That's that, that's what's been going on under the Biden administration. That's so Ridiculous. messed up. Yeah. Well, and the other thing too, I find it interesting because when Kamala would do her interviews or her debates or whatever, and she would always talk about, oh, I was going to pass this immigration bill. I was going to hire this many more Border Patrol agents. And, you know, Trump actually stopped the bill from passing because he needed a problem campaign on blah, 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 blah. I could tell you this irrefutably. When I was in Laredo, Texas, we were... There was way... Trump was way better and more efficient at getting rid of legal aliens coming into the United States, by far not even a comparison. And the reason why is because when these illegal aliens would come into the United States, and this is why I'm so big on Homan needs to be the Secretary of Homeland Security, not just the borders are, because he needs to oversee all the immigration agencies. When aliens would come in, they would get something called an expedited removal. And an expedited removal, what it is, is that person is deported back to Mexico within two weeks of them coming in. Why is this important? This is important because he doesn't burden up the immigration system that we have. Because Mm -hmm. in the immigration world, we have immigration judges, etc. So So they come in. Um, they basically, we, they process them, fingerprint them, et cetera, put them into APHIS, all this other stuff in the database, assign an alien number, and then they deport them within two weeks versus what they're doing now is, and I think you spoke with one of my buddies, Zach Apotheker from Border Patrol. He talked about this as well when I had him on is, um, what they're doing now. A lot of these aliens are coming in, they're getting something called a notice to appear release on owner recognizance, ROR. So not only are they allowed to stay, they're sent to where they were supposed to, where they wanted to go. They're given paperwork, and then they're supposed to show up with a ju- to see an immigration judge. But this might not happen for years because right, immigration like is so later. backed up. Yeah, so backed up. So, um, but under Trump, we didn't have that crap. We were sending everybody back, and then on top of that, to bait, get better. If you got caught more than once, you would get hit with something a felony called eight USC thirty twenty six illegal reentry. So. And we were prosecuting these guys. Border Patrol was prosecuting them. HSI was prosecuting them. It was so many people that we were prosecuting for that, that even Border Patrol took some of those cases uh, for for, um, felony prosecution. So we were way harder on the border under the Trump administration than under the Biden-Harris administration. It's and anyone that says otherwise doesn't know what they're talking about. You can just see the, the numbers. Yeah, like the, the numbers graph is yeah. just like it, it goes red, blue. Red, it's like it's like blue, red, and then blue, and it skyrockets under Joe Biden. Yeah, and, 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 and that's that what the, we know that's about. That's the magic. That's the blessed graph, right? Is that the, the blessed chart? And here's the, the crazy part: like they might not be counting certain like um, deportations because a lot of aliens come in, get caught, and they'll just voluntarily leave. Or, some, or the expedited removal I mentioned. I don't know how they're compiling their statistics if they're compiling every single deportation that comes in and how they're processing it. Because when a legal alien comes into the United States and law enforcement encounters them, there's multiple ways to process that alien and then remove that alien. Interesting. Yeah. But what, Biden doesn't do it? 
Uh, they just—they just, they, they, well, they, they basically dismissed all the cases without adjudicating them. Said, "I guess you live here now." Well, yeah, because yeah, they, they basically let them in. Mass amnesty, right? That's why they had that CBP one app. It's like it's like pseudo amnesty where they mm-hmm. said, "Oh, you're here. Well, you better go to court." Then a month later, they're like, "Don't worry about court." So there's yeah, no official so status, here, but, but you're just they, here. But they have no legal status. Not even a month. It could be years, Tim, because the immigration system is so backlog. No, what I'm saying is, when they came in and they gave them, "You better go to court." Mm-hmm. A month later. They, they would call in and they'd be like, no, no, we canceled your court appearance. Bye. Click. Well, and so they were in limbo. They have no official status, but they also have no enforcement action against them. So they just stay here and work. That happens sometimes. They, they, happens. they were doing that to hundreds of thousands. Yeah. That was Biden's pseudo amnesty that he granted. Thanks for checking out this clip from Timcast IRL. Make sure to watch the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to this channel and we will see you all there.